Hi, it's Molly Thurston with Pearl Agricultural Consulting. And today I'm going to talk to you about the use of the BC DAS system for monitoring conditions for fire blight in your orchard. Fire blight is definitely on my mind. We've just finished the dormant pruning and I'm holding in my hand an example of a branch that was taken off from last year when there was a particularly large fire blight infection in this area. So you can see the shrunken wood, you can see how some of the leaves have stayed on to the wood. So this, this wood we're taking out of the orchard, we're sending it for burning. Uh, we don't want to mulch it up and leave it in the orchard because unfortunately it could cause a reinfection in this area. Pears are particularly sensitive to fire blight and we found a number of examples in the orchard including behind me where we're seeing some active uh, bacterial ooze that's starting to show up. And so this is a really good time to be scouting the orchard, looking for infection, looking for cankers on the wood, as well as starting to use your decision aid program in order to look at the possibility of a fire blight infection. It's bloom time in the pear orchard and this is a critical time to control for fire blight infection. The worst epidemics of fire blight will occur after a blossom infection and oftentimes the symptoms will be seen at one to four weeks after the blossom infection. The fire blight bacteria overwinters and cankers on the trees. So on apple or pear we would find the cankers that have formed from previous seasons that would ooze bacterial spores and the bacterial spores can be easily transferred by insects, by pollinators such as bees, by humans doing tasks in the orchard and with tools from blossom to blossom where an infection can occur. There are literally millions of bacterial spores that are part of the ooze that we find coming out of cankers at this time. Those spores can land on the open flower and they will start to grow on the nectar within the flower itself, causing a blossom infection, which can be seen as blackening of the pedicels and also could then transfer to the shoots and the actively growing tissues where you can get a secondary infection later on in the season. It's important to check with the DAS model after setting your parameters for your orchard, including the risk value for last year. Did you have active infection in your block? Have you currently seen no infection or do you currently have an active infection occurring? Depending on the risk value that you input into the DAS system, then you will get a table and a chart that will give you the infection risk for your particular block. And you can follow along with the model along with the forecasted weather in order to determine whether a control spray will be required for your area at the blossom time. The recommendations for sprays are available in the BC Tree Fruit Production Guide, which is linked to the BC DAS system. Thank you for joining us in this video on fire blight. We look forward to you coming back to see other videos in our series.